Okay, I got you. you. I got you. There you go, Kinnicky. You got this. Lean back, Gianna. These arrows don't want to stay. You're supposed to hold it sideways. Oh. Oh, About 10 years. 10 years we've been coming here. We've gone to five or six different camps. And they're all basically great. Nothing bad about any of them. What are your favorite memories about camp? Um, I like meeting new people. And I like the hikes. I love the hikes. It's a great day for a hike. And this has been a great week for a hike. So I like going on hikes and, um, you know, getting out in nature. My favorite part about science camp is the rope spray swinging cross because it feels like I'm Tarzan. My favorite thing about science camp is I was doing the rock ball climbing because when I, when I was walking down, I actually, I was really scared. But then later on, I was like, my goal was actually like to get up to the top and then I was able to. And then the fun part of go was going down. I was hitting my back on the wall a lot. And a lot. Doing a 360, hitting my back on. Yeah. My, fa my favorite part about science camp is the food because it's really good. My least favorite thing about science camp is reading. to know if you have ever been bullied. I know I have. Today I will tell you not to bully. A bully is someone who is mean, hurts others in different ways. Don't be a bully. Be a friend. If you'd rather be a bully than a friend, then the only person you're hurting is yourself. Don't be a bully. Be a star. Be a shining star instead of a dark, hurtful bully. It's not cool to be cruel. When you're a bully, you're not only breaking the rules, you're hurting others after they are innocent. Stop bullying. If you get bullied, don't try to fight the bully. Stand up for yourself, and if you're too afraid, tell a teacher or an adult. Keep calm, don't be a bully. Bullies only bully because they have been bullied. I don't bully. Ain't nobody got time for that. If someone is bullying you, well, they're wasting their time. Because after watching this, you know how to fight back. On March 1st, I traveled from Palm Springs, California to North Carolina. I went to Wake Forest University to present at the Teachers Teaching and Media Conference. 
At the conference, I got to share with teachers and college professors all about Digicom, the DSL Engineer Report, and the cool things we're doing at Della Lindley with digital storytelling. I couldn't help but notice all the toilet paper in the trees on the quad at Wake Forest. Whenever the basketball team wins a big game, the students roll the quad or throw toilet paper everywhere. Wake Forest had beaten Louisville the night before, so students threw toilet paper all over the quad. I certainly wouldn't want to have to clean that up. One of the fun things to do when you travel is to go do things you've never done before. So I went to a sheep shearing. Okay. Uh, hi everybody, I'm Angela King. My husband and I own Eno Farm, uh, where we raise chickens and wool sheep. So today's a big day for our farm because we are shearing our 24 sheep. Um, to get their wool, which is our main product, and it'll be used to make uh, mainly yarn and other products. So we have a shearer here who um, I think you, you'll get to see some footage of. She's taking the wool off the sheep and then we will process it into yarn. So while we're doing that we're also vaccinating them, giving them a shot so they stay healthy and checking to see which uh, ewes are expecting lambs soon. After the sheep shearing, I went to Hanging Rock State Park to go for a hike. When you're in North Carolina, you have to try the barbecue. It was all delicious. I had a great time and can't wait to go back. On March 3rd, Della Lindley held an author's fair where teachers and community volunteers listened to students read their stories based on themes from Coach Wooden's Pyramid of Success. What was your favorite part about being an author? Don't shout out. I want you to be in your head. What was your favorite Fifth grade students did a research project on Steve Jobs or Walt Disney and studied how they both showed determination. Okay, I learned that he suffered so much, he even rejected one of the movies. I thought that Walt Disney was easily famous, but since I did the research, I found out he suffered so much. It's like didn't even know. Right. Like in real life, if something gets you down, you get back up. Which he did, but even though he got this down so much, he might get back up anyway. Right, right. Like you, um, you make your own apple company? Would I make my own apple company? Well, not at this stage in my life. <laughs> <laughs> my name is Isabella. What did you like about reading your story to other um, authors? Um, it was fun, but it was also really scary because I had some words missing in two that I forgot to put in. But then I had it put in with my words that I remember in my head. Would you rather hike forever or never sleep? Hi, I'm Mr. J, and I would rather uh, never sleep just because if I hike forever, I want a family and kids, so I won't be able to have that time with my family and kids if I hike forever, right? Hi, my name is Donnie. I'm one of the cabin leaders up here at Science Camp this weekend and this week, and I would rather hike all day because I need my beauty sleep. Would you rather be bitten by a snake or sprayed by a skunk? Hi, I'm Tiffany. I'm a cabin leader here. And um, I would rather be sprayed by a skunk. I know, gross! 
But I would rather be sprayed by skunk because then I can just take a shower or do whatever you have to do to get that off. So, yeah. Hi, I'm Amy from Mile High Pines, and I'm a counselor here. Um, I think I'd rather be sprayed by a skunk. Why? Because I'm terrified of snakes, and if I got bitten by a snake, I'd be like freaking out and have a heart attack or something. So I'd rather be sprayed by a skunk. That's the end of the DSL Engineer Report. See you in two weeks. Wait, you got the bus? We gotta go! Oh no!